to chemistry e-learning by Fatima Convent High School. Mrs. Deepali, your teacher and creator of this content, will guide you throughout your chemistry journey. Welcome dear students to class 9 part 2 chapter 1 matter in our surrounding lecture series. Moving further with the next topic of the chapter the physical nature of matter. Yesterday in the previous lecture we already understood that what is our surrounding? What is our surrounding made up of? And what is matter? Now after understanding what is matter, a question must have come to your mind that what does this matter look like or what is the physical appearance of this matter or what the matter must be made up of? There were lots of uncertainty prevailing for a long time about this question. Some scientists thought that matter is like a bulk form or like a log of wood. And some scientists thought that matter is like a particle form. After many activities and experiments and observations, they came to a conclusion that matter is a particulate form that is matter is like a particle matter can be defined as the material which occupies space has volume and has mass that we understood yesterday now this matter is made up of particles and a particle is the smallest possible part of this matter. For example, matter is the smallest possible part is an atom, whereas atom's smallest possible part can be its subatomic particles. So, we can say that Particles are very small and cannot be seen with our naked eyes. You need a highly powerful microscope to observe these particles of any matter. Now, let us perform an activity to see whether this matter is made up of particles or is like a log of wood. For that you will need a beaker and 100 ml water filled in that beaker. Now mark the level of water you filled and dissolve some salt and sugar with the help of a glass rod. Observe any change in the level of water. What do you think has happened to the salt? Where does it disappear? Does the level of water change? In order to answer all these questions, you need to understand that the salt or sugar which was present in the spoon has spread throughout the water. This shows that matter is like a particle and not like a log of wood. If it was like a log of wood, it would not mix or dissolve with water. But it got dissolved and mixed up, disappeared from water. Where did it go? It got arranged in the space between the particles of 
water. This shows that particles of water as well as particles of salt are like grains. So, we can say that matter is like Now, we can easily chronologize that our surrounding is made up of matter and matter is made up of particles that is stone, trees, air, water, human body which is our surrounding is made up of matter and this matter is made up of particles. The characteristics of these particles. Particles of matter are very very small which can be seen only under high definition microscopes. Particles of matter have space between them and the space between them will be defined on the basis of states of matter. Particles of matter are continuously moving Particle of matter attract each other. So, did you know the characteristics of this particle now? That particle is very very small. Particle has space between each other. Particles are continuously moving and particles attract each other. Now, in next lecture, we are going to understand these properties on the basis of certain activities. So, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for today.